Hi folks, today we're at the Zoho CRM site and I'm at the pricing and sign up tab and the reason I'm here is I want to introduce everybody to the free edition of Zoho CRM. Now I know that a lot of entrepreneurs will snub their noses at the free edition of anything and especially when it comes to something as necessary as CRM software there's a little bit of a hesitation in using anything that's free but Zoho CRM has a good reputation and the free edition actually gives a lot of functionality especially when it comes to smaller businesses, Soho operations, things like that. And the other reason that I want you to consider the free edition right off the bat, even if you, you can afford to do more, is it will give you an opportunity to sort of merge this application in with the way you actually do business because if you take a look at the page you've got the enterprise edition the professional edition and the free edition and in terms of the enterprise edition you may look at it and you say I really don't need those features and after you, it's better to know that to want the feature in advance and then implement it rather than have the feature hanging around and just not use it at all or tell your users to ignore it so I would say start with the free edition and then start to grow into the other functionality if you need to. The other thing about the free edition, obviously be, being free, it gives you a great opportunity to evaluate a lot of the functionality of Zoho CRM. So let's just take a look at what you get for free. Starting off with Salesforce Automation, you get pretty much all of the objects, leads, contacts, accounts, and opportunities that you need to, to follow your sales process. Then it also gives you marketing automation, which is fairly um, generous of them. Uh, it allows you to create and track campaigns, gives you some email templates, allows your users to opt, your 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 recipients to opt out. Doesn't give you any email marketing capacity, but you know if you're if you're not a big operation, um, then you may not want to. You may want to do that in house, or if if it is a, a big broadcast then maybe uh, sending that out and, and outsourcing that to some other company would actually be even better in your best interest. The next module is customer support. Again, very generous for a free edition. It allows you to create cases and track their solutions. Um, eventually, uh, after a period of time, you'll have so many solutions you could create your own library that will allow you to almost set up your own, well not almost, but set up your own customer support desk and almost automate that whole thing. You don't get any inventory management with the free edition and the cost, common features are fairly common. You get uh, tasks which is your to-do list. Uh, you can log your calls to and, and connect to contacts. Calendars. Um, product customization basically allows you to, the, the important part is customize your fields so that you've got fields that you're familiar with and you get some reporting and, and your dashboards as well. Um, the web forms are for the free edition are, are pretty much what you see is what you get. You've got you've got no options there. File storage is pretty pretty generous. 100 megabyte for for three users or if you're evaluating it's way more than enough. Um, data administration you get 100,000 records and you've got an imp import uh, per batch of 1,000 kind of limiting but if you're you're coming from scratch then it's no big deal um, on the other hand if you're come you're, if you want to use it to import from uh, say a sales seminar or some sort of event that you've you've had that might be a little bit limiting third-party application uh, the other thing that you don't get is security administration which if you're evaluating not such a big deal small person office not such a big deal it gets a little bit bigger then it becomes a, a, a more of a concern workflow management same thing um, workflow management basically sets allows you to set up rules and alarms and 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 whatnot so that tasks just sort of can be automated um, generally in a three person office you could probably use it but I would wait until the, the demand is there, the, the actual need is there. And if you're working with a consultant, he'll, he'll be able to explain to you, he or she will be able to explain to you how it might fit in with your operation. But as I always say, use your own business sense when it comes to bringing in any more functionality because 
the consultant will try to give you as much functionality as they can because that means more hours for them on the other hand you need to consider what is the impact on your business of bringing in another piece of uh, functionality such as workflow management um, there are some pretty nice additional features that come with the enterprise edition if you're working to, in a distributed environment um, or if you're doing a lot of marketing um, it, it is quite nice now there are extra add-ons extras and add-ons which are available regardless of which edition you use and the most important add-on to consider is the anything relating to mail in this case they have the Zoho mail add-on and they've got the plug-in for Microsoft Outlook everybody these days does business through their email client so if you are really want to get full value you may want to just throw in if you're if you're a, win, a Windows uh, office bring in the Outlook or if you're a um, a Unix or Mac based go with the Zoho in fact you know it might be interesting for you to go with Zoho anyway just so that you, you can experience the tighter integration um, and and also if, especially if you're on the road a lot and you're you're working from a coffee shop or or from different different uh, offices the other uh, plugins and and add-ons are, are things like uh, integration with things like Microsoft Office QuickBooks uh, Zoho projects and Zoho support um, and Zoho phone bridge for call centers these are things which you can either grow into or if you are if you do do a lot of work involving call centers that's what you could you can get so this is um, Zoho CRM free edition and what you get now let me just reiterate it's a great way to introduce yourself to the to the application and it's also a great great way to sort of just find, get your get your bearings in terms of okay I, I can use this functionality and what else do I kind of need and then talk to either a consultant or just do a little bit of research or come back to my site and you'll say okay well do I really need the the inventory management piece or do I really need the the web tabs piece the group chat piece you know so thanks a lot for for listening I'm John Takrabi